what up, Salvador Brigner here. Welcome back to the Crowdfunding Dude's Five YouTube channel. I channel talk about crowdfunding, Kickstarter, and you go, how you can get fully funded with a Kickstarter campaign or crowdfunding campaign. And really how to monetize your passion at the end of the day. How do you get other people around the world to actually use the product maybe that you have in your head? Or how do you get them to use the creation which you've built, right? Or to this new innovative solution which you've come up with. Uh, we talk about how to actually do that, how to build audiences, how to build crowds, how to build raving fans when it comes to your brand and one day have a product out there in the wild and even if you're more creative type, for example, you're doing a card game, a board game, or doing something like more literary, to have other people reading your books, have other people listening to your music. We talk about how to actually make that happen, that vision. And in today's video, I wanna talk about, can you launch a Kickstarter campaign? Kind of answer this question, even if you don't have any help. Can you do this alone? I wanna answer that question today for you. We're getting into that in just a second. Okay, so let's get into this question and why did this question even come up, right? This question came up for me in a coaching call and one of my students was asking this and I was like, this is really interesting because it kind of goes back to the early days with crowdfunding and why I even got started in this industry in the first place. So for me, I really try to put out a lot of free education and videos like you are watching right now, right? I try to put out free podcasts, I try to put out free blog articles with my blog, craftsworks.com. And uh, the reason why I do that is that I'm freaking passionate, man. I think the education in this industry sucks. I think that the process is so complicated and convoluted and I try to demystify it and make this easy for you. But when I started to think about this, like, first of all, you know, can you do this on your own? Can you launch a Kickstarter campaign without any help? And why is this question even being asked? It kind of brought me back to really why I started my brand, Crowd Crux, in the first place. And I know this is kind of deep, but um, the real reason is that my entire life, I really wanted to be able to impact the outcome of humanity in some way. I wanted to be able to kind of you know, encourage people to reach their full potential as people and in that way affect society in a positive sense. And even just in this very small way, I think that bringing new products into the world, people can actually sample and use this new innovative solution, this new product, this new artwork, whatever it is, you're kind of encouraging people to bet on themselves, you're empowering other people to bring new things into the world. And to me, that just gets me excited, that gets me enthusiastic. Um, I love that and it makes me feel as well that you know what I'm doing has a lot of meaning when it comes to working in the crowdfunding industry and in this niche specifically. So for those of you out there that are wondering, can you do this on your own? I'm gonna talk about basically how to do this on your own to a tiny degree, but also why is this even something that you should be thinking about? So there's, there's kind of a sliding scale. If you want to think of like a balance beam or you want to think of like in a playground, right? You have that like beam and two people are on the other two sides of the beam. This is kind of like a scale, if you will, that's going up and down. So in life, you have two different things when it comes to business, right? You have either time or you have money, okay? You have plentiful amounts of time or plentiful amounts of money. Or in some cases, some of you guys are really lucky, you got both, right? You got tons of time and tons of money. However, usually, you know, when it comes to trying to execute something new, trying to generate results, trying to get funded, um, trying to raise money, trying to generate a crowd, trying to get a product there out there into the world, you value one over the other. Either value your time more, or you value your resources more when it comes to a project. So doing a campaign yourself, usually it's typically someone who really values their time much more than their resources. And the reason here is that they maybe have a massive budget or they you know have a very small budget, but they don't want to actually necessarily allocate that into getting a new product out there into the world. So first of all, I do think that's something that's worth thinking about and worth um, understanding is why it is you're deciding to do everything yourself. Yourself. For example, we have people who are you know trying to do all their marketing themselves. I'm like, dude, you're not necessarily the greatest graphic designer. Just get someone else to do the graphic design, right? It's so much easier. Build a team around you, right? Other people, they're on a shoestring budget, and they're like, you know, Sal, I really do have to do this myself because I don't have a lot of resources. I'm not willing to tap into credit cards. I'm not willing to have a loan for my business. I'm not willing to raise capital or something like that. I really want to do this myself when it comes to this first campaign, and that's awesome. So for those people that really want to do this themselves, and they have a lot of time on their hands, or they have, you know, they can do this after work, or they can do this on the weekend, so they can find some time to slide this into their schedule. What you kind of want to do is number one, you want to make sure that you're absorbing as much information as possible. So what I call this is like picking your learning sources, okay? You're picking your mentors, you're picking where it is that you're gonna kind of be dialing in on a weekly basis to understand this process of crowdfunding. So yes, first of all, you can do this yourself. However, you need to have some kind of process which you're following. If not, that's kind of like you're an explorer and you're trying to you know, maybe go west as an exploration, but it's taking you a ton of time because you don't have a map. So you have, you're an explorer and you run into a mountain, right? But then you gotta go around that mountain and then maybe you find a lake. And you gotta find a way across that lake and then you go here, right? You have this other, a bear comes and chases you down you know, the, the path or something like that, right? 
If you're an explorer, if you don't have a map and you don't have a compass, it gets very difficult for you to get to your destination. And all of a sudden you're like winding your way around this route and it's taking five times longer and eventually maybe you get to the destination where you want to go, right? So you need to have a map of some kind. Um, you already have a blueprint, if you will, if you're trying to build a house from scratch and you don't know the first thing about building a house and you don't have a blueprint or the step-by-step -step way that houses are built, it's very hard to build a house. You might actually leave something out that's really critical, right? Or it's not very structurally sound in a certain sense. So when it comes to crowdfunding, I've really worked hard to put that blueprint into the Kickstarter launch formula, which is the book that's available out there on Audible, on Amazon, ebook, paperback version, Etc. So I would say, first of all, think about what can I you know, buy, what can I read in order to begin to understand this process more easily so I can actually know what I have to do in a step-by-step -step fashion. And I've tried to answer that you know, problem myself with the Kickstarter launch formula. Number two, the next thing you need if you want to really do this yourself is to know what's working today when it comes to crowdfunding. What's working when it comes to other people that are raising money, other campaigns that maybe are similar or different from yours. You really want to begin to put your fingers on the pulse. So when I was first thinking about this, I'm like, dude, uh, how, I'm having so many interesting conversations with creators um, behind closed doors and I'm talking with people and students who are getting wildly funded. And I'm like, how can I bring this to my audience? Because they're not believing me. I know, like, I sound like a crazy person, right? I'm like, this product, I can't tell you guys, like, they did this one thing and it got super funded. And like, you know what, did they really do that? I don't believe you, Sal, right? So it's like, how do I, you know, transmit that information in a way that people are going to understand that and they're going to believe it as well? And I had like an aha moment. I'm like, what if I started a podcast? What if I actually interviewed these people in an interesting way? I made it a win-win situation, which I try to do in business and in life. And I made it so that it's not only a good experience for the guest who's raised seven figures and it's like, why would they want to come on my show, right? In order to talk about how they did that, right? I try to make it a win-win for the guest. And I also try to make it a win-win for the listener. So it's a great experience all around. So you can kind of just be a fly on the wall and you can kind of listen to these different podcast interviews on the Crowdfunding Genius to My Podcast, which I publish a version here on YouTube. I also publish a version on Spotify, on iTunes, etc. So this is important because it's kind of like you're listening to other people who have walked the same footsteps that you're trying to walk. They're, you're walking the same trail as they're walking and you can listen to their obstacles, you can listen to what they did to get funding, you can listen to the resources that they recommend, um, you can listen to and understand the strategy, how they came up with the product idea, right? All that kind of stuff you can hear on the Crowdfunding Demystified Podcast, which I publish for free out there. And obviously we have sponsors and stuff like that, but I publish for free for you guys so you can really get up to speed on what's working well when it comes to crowdfunding. So that's number two, right? Number one is pick a source. This is like your Bible, if you will, right? You need to have something you can read and kind of uh, address every single day or every single week and just kind of bite-sized get through that. And that could be a book of some kind. Number two is to pick your mentors, right? And, and so those people that are your kind of your inner circle, your Jedi council, right? When it comes to being like a, trying to train to be a Jedi or something like that. And then I think it would be great is to discover the podcast um, realm. I think it's a really great, easy way. And also just be listening to this um, as you're going to work, as you're doing other things like you're cleaning your house or you're going on a run or whatever it is. You can be listening and learning and absorbing that information at the same time. The third is thinking about, okay, so now I'm beginning to get a better understanding of the process by reading blogs, by reading books, et cetera. I'm getting a better understanding of uh, what other people are doing by listening to podcasts, et cetera. I may be learning more just by watching videos and trying to get up to date on that knowledge, right? Okay, the next step is really getting closer and closer to execution, okay? So at this point, you maybe have executed or maybe you haven't. So there's kind of two situations here. And one is, um, okay, I feel like I feel good in what I know and I understand. I understand to a degree, but I really just want like the gray areas of the map filled in a tiny bit. Or like, I want to know how this relates to me. Or this is my idea of what I think a good campaign would look like. These are my marketing strategies. But really, when it comes to real world experience, does that sync up or not? So this is also why I actually started to make myself available when it comes to coaching. And I would have people all the time being like, Sal, I love your podcast, man. You know, I love, I took even your course, right? I took one of your premium paid courses and that's another element, right? So like, if you even wanted to upgrade even further when it comes to your education and training, you really want to invest in that. It's also obviously a great write out for your business. You can invest in one of my courses, which I'll link up down below when it comes to, you know, I'll have, I also have a free course walking you through step-by-step -step how to do a Kickstarter campaign, right? So there's a lot of information out there and I try to make it easy and step-by-step -step and kind of like a paint by numbers fashion. 
At a certain point in time, I started to have more and more students reaching out and be like, Sal, I read your book. I love it, man, right? Or I took your course and I raised money, right? I'm trying to do another campaign. I really would like to get like a personal consultation. I really like to get a coaching session or I'd love for you to work with me in some way, helping me through this process. And that's kind of almost by like, uh, by need, you know, I decided I was going to make that a part of my life. And now intensive is a very coaching, I mean, coaching is a very intensive process for the coach. I have to be very aware of different students. I have to be aware of how to uh, bring different types of products, what works well with certain categories. I have to understand where the person is, how to optimize their performance, how to make sure they get results, et cetera. And also understand where they're coming from, their skill levels, et cetera. Some people are really skilled when it comes to marketing. Some people are just beginning and they've never even used Google Sheets, right? So there's many different types of people that I have to kind of accommodate my coaching for. So it's definitely more of an uh, you know intensive process, and it's also something where I'm giving you action items every step of the way as well. So with coaching, that's something that I included in my business to give you access to you know me, so we can also you know begin to plan this campaign in a more strategic fashion. From there, I mean the the question is like okay, from that point, you know you don't have to necessarily even do any of that. You could learn this all on your own, or you could take access of a lot of the free information. And if you have a lot of time in your hands, it can be something really easy to do. What I've tried to do with my service services and kind of with, you know, making myself available when it comes to the coaching or my mastermind, et cetera, is, is allowing you to speed up the process, to put that on light speed, right? So that you don't have to spend all the time hunting down information, figuring things out. And you really have just someone experiencing you tell like, okay, you gotta go here, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, right? And introducing the resources that you need, um, bouncing ideas off of you, telling you when it comes to, this is a great idea, this is not gonna work when it comes to crowdfunding and versus you trying to you know, have that idea in your head for the next couple of months, you'll learn that in a matter of a minute, right? So it really helps to speed up that process. So if you think about you as an explorer, this is like, okay, I'm deciding to go west with no map. Okay, I got a map now, right? I'm going west and I'm trying to have an accomplice, I'm trying to figure it out. What if I just hired a guide? Oh, look, I got a guide, and they're taking me west to the treasure land, right? Or to wherever it is I'm trying to you know, hunt for buried treasure. I now have a guide who's taking me there, and I have roads, and like, oh, this is going to be a lot easier, a lot less painful than if I was to try to figure it all out myself. Want to take all the stress out of fulfilling your Kickstarter rewards? Fulfillright is the turnkey solution that puts product delivery on autopilot. The top campaigns use this trusted high-tech provider to store, package, and ship their products. Focus on growing your business. Leave shipping to the experts. Don't wait. Get a custom quote from Fulfillright today. Link in the description. So let's get into um, kind of now more of what you would need to do if you are doing this yourself. So, so for example, when it comes to coaching, I have certain students that want to do long-term coaching with me. Long-term coaching could be three months. Uh, it could be two months. It could be six months. I have people that are trying to do a, even a year-long program right with me. So it's kind of different and it kind of changes and it really depends on your product and stage and where you are and also the value that you um, you see in coaching itself. Um, in addition, when it comes to that, I also have certain clients that I work with on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, that is definitely an investment, I would say, on both of those cases with long-term coaching and also you know having someone I'm working in more of like an A to Z fashion uh, and we don't accept everyone. It's definitely something where we have to believe in your product. It has to be something that has legs. It has to be something that um, you, have in that you can actually invest in other things when it comes to getting this product out there, et cetera. Uh, but that being said, let's just assume that you're doing this yourself. So what do you need to do next? So next, what I would recommend doing is beginning to make this kind of like a strategic plan. So a strategic plan can mean a lot of things. That can mean, for example, putting together folders on Google Drive. That could be um, getting together Excel. That could be getting together things like your Word documents, being able to write out things when it comes to product descriptions, and really thinking about, okay, if this is the system that Sal is talking about with his Kickstarter Launch Formula book, or if this is the system that he's talking about with his courses, or this is what he's talking about when it comes to the information that I've gathered from his, from his channel, et cetera, how can I begin to think about what that would look like for me, right? What steps might I need to do? And even just taking a notebook and being like, okay, I think I need to learn about this or this or this, or I think I need to do this, this, or this, or maybe I need to film the video. And I guess I maybe need to film it on this date, right? Okay. So maybe I'll do the video on this date. I'll be a thing about pre-launch on this date. I'll be a thing about going live on this date, right? So you need to just begin to think this out, plan it out. And I would say that the number one thing is to get this out of your head. Okay. So you have the product idea in your head, you have everything in your head when it comes to strategy, you have a lot of stuff that you're trying to cram in your head, right? I know you guys are pretty smart, you can, you can handle a lot of stuff, but when it comes to doing this yourself, you gotta get that out of your head, 
onto some kind of a medium, whether it's a notebook, whether it's a page of some kind, whether that's something more virtual, right? You need to make sure you get that information out of your head and then you can begin to kind of move things around, strategize, figure out timelines, figure out what you know, what you don't know, what you need help with, what you don't need help with, et cetera. And that's gonna make the process of doing it yourself much easier. So 100%, you can do this yourself if you want to. In addition, it's just because it's your first campaign, you could either decide to swing for the fences or you could do a modest first campaign, decide to do a second campaign, decide to do a third campaign, right? Um, I know I have people who book calls with me who have done a successful first campaign and they're like, Sal, I had a great campaign, but I wanna do more, right? So. I would say really think about that. Um, think about what your goals are, what your objective is, where is it that makes sense for you? Like, are you trying to you know, plot this whole map yourself? And that's great. Are you trying to you know, lead the entire expedition yourself? And that's great. Do you need a guide? Do you need help? That's also great. Uh, think about where you are, what you want to accomplish, how big do you want to go? Think about your resources. Think a little bit about what you know, what you don't know. And I will tell you, I will have people who are like, you know what, Sal, you are exactly right. Like, I need help with this. I have other people be like, Sal, I just need to like soak up information as much as I can from you. And I want to do it myself because I want to learn this process, right? So it really doesn't, um, to me, either way is great. Uh, and I try to put out information for everyone and I try to accommodate many different types of students and learners, uh, whether that's reading, listen to videos, listen to podcasts, uh, you know, et cetera, audible. I try to you know, accommodate many different learning styles. So hopefully I have been useful for you. Hopefully that you enjoy my videos. If you do, give me a thumbs up, come subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And hopefully as well, you begin to take some freaking action if you are not already. And if you are taking action, let me know by leaving a comment down below. Tell me the action you're taking. Tell me that you are coming committed to this product. You are committed to your success, my friends, and you are committed to showing up, right, when it comes to this. And you're not gonna put this off. You're not gonna say like, you know what, I don't know if I can actually believe in myself. I don't know if I can do this. No, we are not like that when it comes to crowd trucks, right? My community takes action. My community is willing to, you know, raise up, ante up, be willing to make a big bet because they believe in something.